Today's objective is to create a rapid prototype of an innovative idea. How about that for the second day of class? Welcome to Computer Science Principles. Computer Science is all about being innovative, finding ways to solve problems. In this class, you'll discover lots of connections between people and computing, explore how technology impacts absolutely everything in your life, and work with others in fun and creative ways. Today, you'll take your first step in becoming an innovative computer scientist. For your Think Right Share, based on what I just said, what do computer scientists do? On the next slide is an infographic about computer scientists versus computer engineers. These are two uh, jobs that people um, get confused often with. So in case the words are hard to read um, on the next slide, all right, I'm going to type them right here. The engineer focuses on the link between hardware and software, while the scientist pays a lot of attention to data and algorithms. So you can kind of look around um, here at the differences between the two. And then I want you to do something a little risky in your notebook. Decide whose job you think is tougher. You might want to keep this to yourself. Don't show a real engineer or scientist this. But go ahead. Technological innovation is about recognizing a problem that needs to be solved or recognizing something that needs improving and then building a tool to solve it. As a class, we're going to see how innovative we can be and we'll share our ideas through something called rapid prototyping. So prototype is just a fancy word that means a preliminary sketch of an idea or model um, of something new. It's the original drawing from which something real might be built. So I'm going to have you create this chart. Interest, improvements, and problems. One, two, three, four rows. I want you to choose four things you're interested in. They can be anything. And then how could technology improve your interest to make it better, faster, or easier to use? What is a problem or aspect of your interest that a creative or innovative technology might help solve, or at least make better? And the think right here on this one is your chart. So going to the chart, let's say you wrote down puppies for your interests, your interest in puppies. Um, improvements. How can we improve puppies? Uh, maybe um, putting a, a chip inside the dog. Uh, so in case you lose them, um, you can use a, a geo tracker to find them easily. Okay, so that's an improvement on puppies. Um, problems that can come from that? Um, maybe people doing puppy surgery to put the chips in themselves, uh, you shouldn't be allowed to do that probably. So maybe there will be need to be a law um, preventing uh, s surgical surgery on a a pet of your own, or um, maybe if the dog walks by a microwave with the chip, it, it'll explode. So um, that might be another problem. Um, okay, so there's my example. Of course, create your own and be as creative as you'd like. Okay, so after you have your chart all the way filled out, if you're in class watching this, then um, I want you to share with a partner. That way you and the partner can decide which of your ideas are the best. So pick one of those interests to create um, a report on or a presentation to give to the class or even a video. So you're going to be doing some sort of uh, creating here, whether it's PowerPoint or writing a script for a video um, or just a, a report would be fine. Um, and it says here you can do this solo or with a partner. So if you both want to choose one interest to go on, you're definitely able to collaborate like that. So you're going to dive deeper, uh, create a rapid prototype. So feel free to draw on a blank paper if this helps you. Um, and then here are the questions for you to answer. What is the technological innovation? So your answer should specifically identify the innovation and explains the role computing plays. What is the most important thing that it enables you to do? So precisely describe the personal significant impacts experienced. Number three, how did people do this before the technology existed? Okay, so I'm thinking of the puppy example. How did people find their dog before? Um, well, they just drove around the block several times, or they put out um, those flyers, posted them on mailboxes or whatever, um, and then they just walked around looking for the dog or put food out and wait, just waited for the dog to come back. So that's um, an example of how to answer number three. Number five, what was a problem or issue with the way it was done before that this technology solved or made better? Okay, you know, people don't have a lot of time um, to walk around the block over and over, so time might have been a problem. 
Um, number six, what new problems were created by the technology? The report presents a rich analysis of problems created by the innovation. So I want you to, to analyze what new problems can possibly come from this technology. Reflection part. So reflect on the richness of technology in your life. I want you to compare it with teenagers in other parts of the country um, or maybe the world. How is your life better than theirs because of technology? And are there ways that their lives are better without certain technologies? Interesting video of personal innovations and their impact on the world. If you're really itching to see sample questions of the AP test, I provide you, you a link here. I know it's only day two of the class, but I thought I'd still give you the chance to start looking through these. So that's it for the day. Um, the demonstration of learning is using a paragraph. Describe uh, your rapid prototype in two real-world is issues, or um, uses, I mean. And then your central question of the day is of all the great technological achievements you know about, which do you think is the greatest in the world?